Hi guys, I recently quit a job and um, during that job they actually gave me three polos um, but they're all branded with the company name and these polos are really good quality so I wanted to be able to, to still use these polos on my new job um, but of course you don't want to be using um, your old company's name and <laughs> when you're working at a new place um, so there are a few different options um, to how to upcycle them um, but what I thought would be really fun would be just to put a patch um, on on top of the of the of the label um, and the the tricky part is I wanted to do a flower um, but flowers are really hard to tell exactly um, if they're going to cover um, the logo um, enough so it's not peeking out. So I chose a rather atrociously large flower, um, but I think it's going to be really pretty and I think it's going to brighten up um, some, of the, some of the dark polo colors. And what I, what I ended up doing was going to Etsy and um, I found this shop called Rihanna's Closet 2. Um, and she has a lot of different creative um, patches that I, I believe she does herself. And one of the things I really love um, is that she gives some really great instructions um, about how to, how to iron it. Um, and also um, she recommends sewing the patch edges to ensure a secure hold. And I think that's a really great piece of advice. Um, a lot of patches, when you purchase them, they say that it's an iron-on. And a lot of times, you know, one of the edges um, might not have, have it adhered properly. So you might have just, just one edge that's just always kind of um, not secure. So I really, I really love these instructions. And I think she's given some really great advice. And um, I'm going to do exactly what the instructions say um, because they have matched up with, with my experiences as well. So the, the next step um, is to do some ironing. Um, and we should also talk about thread, what, what to use um, for, for sewing it down. Um, you have a couple of different choices here. Um, for, for this type of patch, um, you could use a metallic gold around. Um, but when I was thinking about it, I was thinking it might look a little bit off, you know, to have a thread of, of gold just kind of peeking out, you know, through different parts. It might just call attention to itself. So what I chose instead was to match up the thread with the color of the polo. And I think that's going to create a, a little more of an invisible stitch um, that won't be as noticeable.
this um, this patch is just fresh from being ironed and um, iron it for three minutes on, on both sides I think is really the key to getting it to ad adhere well to, to the material because um, you can tell if it's adhered well if if the edges kind of pop up when you touch them and all the edges seem to be very well placed so that just makes it for a an easier time when you're sewing it down um, even if if it's adhered well right after ironing um, they can easily come come up as you're wearing it so um, I definitely um, agree with the instructions to sew down down the edges is an important part of this process and before we get sewing um, I would like to suggest that that you guys use a thimble this will certainly save your fingers um, from a lot of wear and tear um, the the material that I'm working with um, I believe it's a cotton material but the the patch is a lot thicker so to, to get your needle to puncture both the material and also the patch you're gonna have to use a little more pressure than you normally would have um, so I think a thimble is just going to save your hands um, a lot of pain as you're as you're going through this so um, that is my recommendation before you get sewing and for the stitches themselves what I'm going to be using is just a very tiny stitch so your um, my, my goal is to make these um, these stitches just as invisible as possible And some parts of the patch are, are going to be sewn very easily and some not so much. So um, just kind of be patient with yourself if this is your first patch that you're doing. And if you if you find out that you just can't possibly get your needle in through a particular part of the patch um, just move it move your needle just slightly and you might find that it's a whole lot easier And sometimes it just takes a bit of, of finagling to, to get the, the stitches to, to go through. I, I've found out that the, the first five are usually the hardest when I'm just starting to, to sew the, the patch on. Maybe I just need to get into the rhythm but it does it does take a little little bit of work um, when I'm first starting and I think I sew a lot faster without the thimble um, but because of the the patch material I I highly suggest the the thimble even if you're not used to using one it just makes it makes it so your needle doesn't pierce your your finger, um, which which can easily happen when you're trying to push the the needle through all all of this um, material. So here is the finished patch and I think it turned out really well. If you look really closely you can you can see the stitches um, along the edges 
but this is a shirt and um, I'm guessing that a lot of people won't be getting that close to to be able to, to take a good look at my stitching um, so I think for for a shirt or for something that people aren't gonna see close up um, I think it turned out reasonably well um, I think if it were something that people were going to be looking very closely at, um, I think I, I might um, put a, a little little bit of stitching around the, the edges in, in another gold um, sort of fashion. Um, but I think for, for this project, um, for, for some shirts that I needed to upcycle and... Um, I just needed a, a way to to continue to, to wear these um, these work shirts. Um, I think this was a pretty good project, and the shirts were completely free to me. So the only cost I had was the patches. So here is one, and I also did one in in blue. I really love how the the different colors of the of the patches. Um, go with this already blue color so I'm really happy about about that one um, and and once again you can see the stitching if you look really really close um, but most people aren't even gonna notice the stitching at at all is is my thought um, let me know in the comments if if you think otherwise um, if you have a different way of, of stitching on um, patches but um, this is what I was able to to figure out for for this for this project and I've got one more um, I really I really love how this one turned out as well I think the different shades of purple um, contrast really well with with the black um, and I think that's gonna be really pretty um, I think the the blue would be really great with a kind of a a sparkly kind of blue necklace um, if for some reason I'm feeling a little more dressy one day um, and um, maybe this will inspire me to find a, a pink sparkly necklace um, just something to kind of do something different with with my wardrobe um, usually my necklaces are really you know brown or, or black and you know, maybe these colorful flower patches will give me a reason to um, find something sparkly at a at a thrift store and um, add some some color to to my wardrobe. So that's all I have for for this project. Let me know in the comments what you think, and thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day.